classes, you work days, I work nights. big ideas in here is how do we in our films balance the desire to say something personal something that's true to us and translate it in a way into something more universal that audiences will connect with i'm wondering if you could talk about that in terms of your lyrics if that's something you consider how to balance the specific with the timeless and the personal with the universal absolutely it is um i mean i can't I can't think of another reason, another better reason to try to write something or make something than to do just exactly what you say. Um, like, I mean, that, that's that's the whole goal, the whole point of this is to make something that other people can respond to, that it makes people feel something. I mean, that's that's all that I look for in whatever, you know, music or film or art, uh, or books, whatever the case is. I mean, that's the whole thing that, you know, I think I am and we're, or anyone is looking for is just to feel that, uh, that thing that makes the hair stand up on your arms, you know, like it's, 
I feel like the like he used to play in another band and he used to write songs that were more narrative, you know, things like that. And they would tell a good story and it was really pretty or sad or whatever, but I think with this band, like he's been writing more, the more personal the stuff has been, like it, it's meant a lot more to you. So yeah. there's definitely something to be said for like sneaking in that personal factor, but but he, and but I think he does it in a, in a pretty cool way too, or it's not like in your face, you know, it's just kind of pieced in there a little bit by a little bit, you know. Yeah, um, that's that's a really good point. It definitely took me a long time of writing things that, I, I mean, I, I were terrible and that I would not be proud of today, but it definitely took years of fumbling around to sort of figure out just what he said. That, and that's just how it goes, that, you know, yeah, a lot like, of trial and error and lots of <laughs> writing. and I, Yeah. I don't I know, maybe it's a little bit to the point, like when we started this band too, like we were both kind of played out with what we were doing musically yeah. before and kind of drained and uh, yeah the songs that seemed like just a kind of real fresh start yeah. especially for him with the writing and then like for me too with the music and it just yeah. feels really good and honest the, the, yeah you know. the songs that the songs that became the the first record were like were um uh were definitely it wasn't ever a conscious thing but it definitely like Hearing him say it now, it definitely was like a shift in thinking about things from trying, like trying to think of a you know a story to write as opposed to just like that seems like unconsciously at that time it was like I just decided to write what would come out of me and um, and just sort of trust that rather than. Um, try to write with any um, particular story or aim in mind. Um, and it's worked. So I mean, I used to write a lot of songs too, and, and I write now and I feel really narcissistic. when I write. I'm like at this point where I, I'm kind of like, I can't write what I want to write, which is what he's doing. He's doing great. And the part, well, <laughs> the thing of it is like, um, I never really started being happy about or feeling like you know, sort of what was coming out of what we're doing until I stopped thinking about um, what would really what would make anyone listening happy or what would even make me happy as opposed to just um, trusting that whatever thing it is in the song either to just um, and just sort of try to grab it. Um, and, and and like he says, definitely true that um, there are a lot of like detail, like you know, personal details, and I think that's really important um, to like to making those connections. And I it, I think if you if that's not there, then it's really hard for that to exist.